Hey, what's going on my friends? I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. And uh, interestingly, a couple of months ago, I made a video about the Scorp and you probably remember that. So it's the Fayutech Scorp. This right here, my friends, is the Scorp Pro. So this version is a little bit different and I'm gonna be comparing them today. And I said that the Scorp was probably the best gimbal for the a7 IV. But does this make this one the best gimbal for the a7 IV? Sure, it's bigger, it's heavier, it's obviously priced a little bit more. But is it better in the long run? Because if you are going to be upgrading, is that something you're going to be considering? I need to explore this today because there are a few differences, a few key differences that separate these two. It's not just the payload, but this thing is very interesting. Let's get into this video. So yeah, a couple of months ago, I did a review of the Scorp and it's a fabulous gimbal. It does exactly what you need it to do. It's light, it's compact. It has a decent payload of 2.5 kilos, which is pretty good for such a small gimbal. The battery can last up to 13 hours for what they've said actually. And uh, it's compatible with a whole bunch of different cameras. It's designed very well so you can do full undersling mode. It has a portrait button, which you can throw it into portrait mode, which I know a lot of people shoot portrait content now it is here to stay, so get used to it. And this one supports that quite well. But this Scorp Pro is a game changer when it comes to gimbals, mainly for the fact that you can control this wirelessly through this detachable handle. Now this has up to 20 meters of range. So you could be literally having this on a car and be sitting inside the car or another car and still control absolutely everything there is to do with the gimbal movements. Now that is super handy and let's go do that. Well, this is pretty much what it would look like if we're actually driving. We're in my garage, but yeah, I'm controlling this directly through here. If I actually wanted to pan and look at a passenger directly right here, oh, go up a little bit, there we go back to me but uh this is obviously super versatile you can adjust the speed settings on here it's a 1.3 inch touch screen so you can adjust any settings on here that you need but you know you can point this pretty much to anyone i wouldn't recommend obviously anyone using this while driving so you'd probably actually give this to someone in the back seat or the passenger if you're just filming me but you can actually film other cars as well if you really wanted to it's up to you. This gives you so much more versatility. Obviously you can see BTS right there, but also just wanted to jump in here and say thank you to each and every one of you guys for subscribing to my YouTube channel. We've hit 50,000. That is massive for me. And I am super grateful, super humbled for you guys to be actually watching my content. And I really hope I'm teaching you guys something or even, you know, just helping you guys make decisions about filmmaking gear and all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, let's get back into the studio and talk more about the Fayutech Scorp Pro. All right, yeah, let's go. Not just car rigs, but you can have this on a table and sit from a distance and control it that way. It really depends. It opens you up to more creativity with filmmaking. Now, when it comes to charging, you can charge it directly through USB-C on this one or connect it directly to here, charge that and it will charge the whole unit. Now, this one has a bigger payload of 4.8 kilos, but it is almost twice the weight. This is about 1200 grams. This is 2100 grams. That's 2.1 kilos. It is pretty heavy by itself. But like I said, for the versatility, this one could be better. The main factor, it has this detachable arm and it also has an extendable arm here. So you have more clearance when you're actually doing undersling. Now, when it comes to clearance, there's always gonna be issues with the back here with a lot of gimbals. This one, the clearance is quite good, but still the arm's not long enough. So you will have issues if you're going into undersling mode and you have like tall stuff or wide, long things. But unfortunately for me, I was hoping that this would fit my FX6 and my V-mount battery, but it doesn't. It will definitely fit the FX6 with a regular BPU battery. Ah, this one. So this is a Sony BPU battery, obviously that sits pretty much inside the body. So there is obviously more clearance at the back here. So you're not gonna have the V-mount battery in the way. So that sucks. The Zhuin Crane 3S is still going to be the gimbal for my FX6 when I have it fully rigged out. But one of the biggest things that actually I don't like about this 
is the way that this grinds on here when you're actually adjusting. See, this is completely loose and there's so much resistance. You actually have to wiggle it around to try and move it. There is so much resistance. In comparison to the actual uh, Scorp, the original Scorp, it's so smooth and so easy to actually move. It just becomes a bit of a pain and it's annoying. It's like metal grinding on metal. I don't know. See this one. One of the great features of this Scorp Pro as well is that it has an Arca Swiss mount at the bottom. So if you do have a gimbal ring, you can attach this directly into the gimbal ring and use it that way. So that can be really handy. But with any gimbals, you can actually attach a, uh, a piece on the bottom and attach it to a gimbal ring anyway. But this one slots directly into some that are already designed like that. Now there are a few more different custom buttons on here. If you do wanna set specific points, it really depends on your shooting style. I prefer to shoot pretty much absolutely basic with these things. Use the gimbal just to stabilize the camera. That's all I need it for. But I think the great thing about this one is you do have that versatility. Like I said, you can put this on a car mount and control it when you're actually in the car. This can actually be very handy for a lot of different circumstances and I cannot wait to test this further with a whole bunch of other projects and just get really creative with this thing. Now I think one of the key differences between the Scorp Pro and the Scorp obviously is that payload, 2.5 kilos or 4.8 kilos. Now if you do have a camera rig and you do wanna keep that camera fully rigged out, you can put it directly on here and it will most likely take it. Now cosmetically, you do have a few key differences that can help depending on your filmmaking. You do actually have the RE mount on the side here and on the opposite side as well. So you can attach monitors on there. You can attach wireless transmitter systems, whatever you want to attach, you can put directly onto this handle. Now both of these do feature that same 1.3 inch touchscreen on the back, which is very handy, it's quite responsive, and it does exactly what you need it to do. You can access all the functions of the gimbal in here, and it is really intuitive and quite easy to work. Now both of these come with a really nice soft slash hard case. It's pretty handy, and you can actually slide it away and put it directly back in here with no worries. Has a nice little handle, which is a really good feature. Now, I guess one of the key features of the Scorp and the Scorp Pro is when you actually do put it away, back into the case, see this little red dot right here? So essentially, you can slide this wherever you need it to, set the exact point of where you've actually set up your camera and balance it to, and then you can obviously slide it away and put it back into the case. And then when you get the gimbal back out, you can just put it to that red dot to exactly where that balance is. And then you're shooting so much faster. That is a really, really, really good feature of these gimbals that I haven't seen in any other gimbals at the moment. Now, cosmetically, this Scorp Pro does feel a lot thicker in terms of the material used. The Scorp actually feels quite plasticky, which is perfectly fine. That's how you can reduce the weight and you're not gonna be smashing this around anyway, but this one does feel like it is built a lot more to take a little bit more bangs and just overall versatility of this is going to be much better than the Scorp. But you know, it does have that price tag, so pretty much everything that's gonna be on here is going to be better than the original Scorp. So in terms of the algorithm and actual stability of both of these gimbals, you're not gonna go wrong with either of them. They're going to be really smooth and I've gotten amazingly smooth results with both of them. I love the Scorp for the size because if you do just throw the a7 IV or an Alpha camera, Sony Alpha camera on here, any other camera, small mirrorless camera, you're gonna have fantastic results. If you throw on a bigger one, obviously you're gonna have Great results with this one as well. You just gotta make sure that you are completely balanced with both of these, then you're gonna get the best results out of these gimbals. But pretty much any gimbal that you get in 2022 that's very brand new, you're gonna get fantastic results because it's the newest technology, the, uh, the gimbals are going to be built very well, and pretty much overall for us consumers, it's a win-win whichever one you choose, it just comes down to your budget. Now overall for the price, it really depends on what you're gonna be using these for. If you are just going to be using it for the a7 IV, absolutely nothing else, 
Obviously the Scorp, it's a lot cheaper. It does pretty much exactly the same as that. Obviously it doesn't have a bigger payload, but if you're just using the A7 IV just as is, it's perfectly fine. If you're going to be using the a7 IV and rigging it out, if you're going to be using the a7S III, rigging it out, all those kind of cameras, if you're going to make them heavier, if you need extra versatility with this detachable handle, then obviously it's a no-brainer. The Scorp Pro is going to be your option. It does come with that higher price tag, but like I said, whatever you're going to get on here, it's going to be better on the Scorp Pro without a doubt. So anyway guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That'll be absolutely amazing. If you have any questions, please comment below. Don't be afraid to reach out to me and I'll try and answer as many as I can. But uh, link will be in the description below for these two if you do wanna check them out. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one. All right, let's get it.